thank you very much. Nice to be here in Sitges. And who are you and what do you do? Um, my name's Corin Hardy. I'm the director of The Hallow, which has just finished playing in the uh, auditory cinema um, just now, which was fantastic. Yeah, it was, uh, it was nice. It started raining, so everyone came in, I think, to the cinema. So it was nice and busy. Can you talk us through it? What's it about? Uh, yeah, sure. The Hallow is a horror movie set in Ireland. And it's, it's my take on fairy mythology. It's a fairy tale, but grounded in reality. So it's um, a scary fairy film. Can you talk a bit about your background? Mm. Is this your first film? It's my first film, um, and it's taken eight years to make. Um, it was in Sundance Film Festival in January, which is really um, like a real nice start to its festival tour. And then I've just been kind of taking it around the world, just been in Portugal and um, Strasbourg and Vienna and Korea and now Sitges and uh, it's um, yeah no it's been really uh, exciting times. Um, budget wise, there's a lot of, lot of you know directors saying budgets are hard to get and mm. cost. Does that make a difference? Uh, yeah, of course. Budgets and schedules are um, t you know shooting schedules are. Um, it, it was difficult because I wanted to film, it has creatures in it, it has a lot of effects and practical effects and I, in order to try and do them well, um, execute them to a certain level of quality, I, I had to kind of like hold back until we'd got enough money to do it. So it was uh, a low budget independent movie but still um, not a really, really low budget. <laughs> um, who's your inspiration? You know, how did you get into this? I, um, well when I was, funnily enough, looking at this big logo behind me, I think King Kong was the inspiration originally. Um, when I was about five I saw King Kong and it really terrified me but it also really moved me and there was something, I, lo I fell in love with monsters I think when I saw King Kong and then uh, Ray Harryhausen's movies as I grew up and Jason and the Argonauts and the Clash of the Titans and Medusa and this, there's something about right, wanting to see monsters uh, exist in reality. So, um, excuse me. Um, Things like Alien, Ridley Scott's Alien, John Carpenter's The Thing, Sam Raimi's Evil Dead, The Fly, and the 80s, 70s and 80s horror movies. Really, uh, I was obsessed with them, so I, I wanted to try and make uh, my own ode to that era of filmmaking and horror movies and monster movies. Um, what's been your most challenging part of the whole thing? Man, there's been a lot of challenges, that's for sure. Uh, it's the way, you know, there's different routes to achieve what you want to do, and, and uh, I always wanted to make this film first. It was uh, a challenge and, and a frustration to sort of spend a long time trying to raise the money and get the script right, and then it was a challenge to make the film, um, you know, in the time and the money we had, but I'm sort of very proud of what we made, and then to be able to come to places like Sitches and premiere it and have a great response and, you know, it makes it all worthwhile. Can we yeah. talk about the cast a little bit? Yeah, sure. How influential are you in choosing your cast? Yeah, you ha I handpicked the cast. Um, you, you'll be able to maybe see Joe around. He's just there, actually, Joseph Moore. Okay. Um, Joseph Moore is one of the best actors i ever come across in the UK. Um, he's uh, predominantly a, a brilliant kind of c character actor. He's been in Game of Thrones. He's been in um, a lot of sort of supporting roles in films. He's in Ron Howard's Heart of the Sea coming out and uh, a film called uh, The Last Panthers also coming out. And, um, but I wanted to see him in a lead role. And he, I, 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 I looked to films like Straw Dogs, Dustin Hoffman, Sigourney Weaver in Alien, Jeff Goldblum in The Fly as an inspiration for the kind of like intense, brilliant, authentic performance in a horror movie. Um, and you know Max von Sydow and, and the Exorcist and like really serious actors doing incredible performances. So um, I hoped uh, that I could get Joe, and I did get him in the film, and he's done a like really great job. So and I yeah. Yeah, I've um, had the pleasure of interviewing Sir John Hurt. Oh wow! Yeah. And also right. holding an Oscar. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. Um, who's your you know who's been your inspiration? Your best actors or people that you have the utmost respect for? Well, I think the guys I just mentioned. <laughs> That's what I said. Of. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, like my favourite movie is The Godfather. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, uh, there's a certain level and quality in, in certain actors 
I mean, there's film stars and there's actors, and sometimes there's actors who are film stars. Other times they're just like you know people who are able to perform in a way that you know like gets really deep in in your sort of soul and under your skin, and that's something that I think Joe Moore has. What do you expect to get out of all of this? I mean, apart from the others. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no. I just want to. Well, I just want to keep making films. I have a number of yeah. films to make next, and um, uh, yeah, I just want to be able to keep making, doing what I love, which is a real honour to be able to, to do. You know. One great thing that I'm noticing: not a lot of female film directors. You know, what a, well, um, what do you think on that? There should be. I mean, yeah. I mean, if I was a female, I'd be busting out to, to make a movie. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. They're not my cup of tea. What, what's the obsession? And I, it's, it's very male-orientated, kind of. Um, no, I don't think it is. I mean, you think of, I don't know if you saw The Babadook, yeah. you know, female director and um, great, great horror movie, scary, one of the best last year. Um, there's Karen Kasama's The Invitation, um, she just made. Um, so I think there's, I, I, I think it's a kind of a mistake to think that women don't, um, enjoy horror as much as men. I, th I think I've, I've had a great reaction with The Hallow. In fact, one, one girl came up to me in London after in tears, she said it was very emotional and it made her want to have a baby after seeing the film. So. Wow. Love your style. And I have to say, man, I laughed you, Dave, but why, why are you dressed like you are? How important is your image? <laughs> um, uh, I guess, well, I just enjoy uh, wearing hats particularly. I always like a good hat. And uh, with these shoes, you could definitely see these shoes. All right, yeah. hold on. I'll just scan them in and then we'll go back. Oh, I'm just going to scan you in. Okay. These are these are Tracy Knowles shoes. These are my film premiere shoes and I'm like, uh, I, I wear, I, always, I like Tracy Knowles. I'm wearing a uh, John Spencer Blues Explosion t-shirt, yep. which is White Fang. It's a wealth transformation, you know, there's a reason for why I'm wearing that. This is um, Ren, this is my daughter, who's called Ren. Right. The brooch um, on, on this brooch looks yeah. familiar. This is, um, no, this is, um, well, I don't know, it's something my girlfriend gave to me and it's um, okay. uh, something quite special.